Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there are three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc.'s templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, 
sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Visitor Check-In and Out database template. So if we scroll down to the bottom here underneath the database tools and miscellaneous templates, go ahead and click the Access Visitor Check-In Out database. And once that web page opens, go down to the download a demonstration section and download a demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm gonna download this one. <clears throat> once that file is downloaded, go ahead and open the file. And we need to do a few things before we actually open this database template in order for it to work. Since it has a function where it can take a picture of a potential person coming a visitor and it can also read barcodes, you need to install a few things before. So if we hit extract all, go ahead and extract all the contents of the file. And now we need to go to this free 3 of 9 zip. Open this one. <coughs> And if you go up here, you can see install. This is simply the barcode reader part. So you just need to hit install right here. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again or replace it. But simply hit yes, and it'll quickly install. But stop that. And then close out of that. Same thing for this one. Open this file. It's in more barcodes. Hit install. I'll replace this one just to show you that it works, though. There we go. So it's installed very quickly. So now if you go back, we need to now we need to install this Access Imagine 173. So go ahead and double click this. Now I have also already, already installed this, but I'm going to install it again. Simply hit yes on that previous page. So now it's just installing. I accept the terms in the license agreement. You can read through that if you want. I've already, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. Hit yes. It's a pretty quick download, quick install. There we go. Now we can launch that if we want. We are not, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit finish. And now we can open the database. Uh, if you need a you know, go back and maybe you didn't catch all that that I just showed you. Simply hit this read me first text or you should probably read it in general first. But this just shows you all the things you need to do before running this database. You need to follow these steps. You need to install that access imagine control right there. That's the thing I just installed. And then those free three of nine zips. So I'll close that for now. So now we're going to go to the actual database. Go ahead and double click this. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views them as a potential security risk or concern. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And now a login page shows up, and you'll be able to create in your own logins with whatever you want. For the demo though, you can have an administrator login and you can have a typical visitor login. We're going to go administrative, go username A, password A hit submit there we go so now we have the administrative window pop up and as you can see it has the date the time how many people have checked in the building how many are in the building currently how many have checked out all that good stuff so now we're going to uh, put in a vis visitor registration as you can see there is some already some test ones that are in here just for the sake of a demonstration but we're going to create a new one so we're going to go blake at test.com So, as you can see, I'm not in the list. I'm not a current visitor. They have never created me. And it asks, would you like to add it? So you hit yes. So we're adding it. So now we're adding in this new information. So we'll go Blake, test, phone number, phone type. Uh, we'll say it's a mobile phone type. We're going to say we're a we're a, just a walk-in visitor. Company, we'll just put WSI. So I can hit save and close. So I've created a new visitor. So now the visitor registration updates. So now I can say oh his name is Blake Test who is he visiting what employee he's in visiting employee 3 obviously if you purchase the database template you'll be able to enter in all your own employees but as you can see it has an employee phone already for that employee that we put in for the sake of this demonstration um, you can put in the department that they work for you can say employee 3 and department 3 put in some notes so now you can hit check in and print badge simply check in or new visitor so if you hit check in 
There we go. Now you can see that he, Blake Test, is now checked in, visiting employee three. As you can see, how many people are in the building, it updates and checked in. You also, now, we can print a badge if you'd like. So you go to that print badge, you can see this is where the barcode scanner comes in. So if you had a barcode scanner, you could simply scan that and it'd be checked in. This would be perfect where you could just print it and for future use. And you can also, as you can see here, you can check out with the scanner. Let's go ahead and hit close. And so now you can see we have a checked out list. So no one's checked out yet. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out Blake Test. He's leaving the building. So if we hit check out, there we go. Checked in is one. Checked out is one. That means there's none in the building. So for today, there's been one check in, one checked out. If you go to that checked out list, there we go there's one checked in and at the end of the day after midnight i believe this will reset so it'll uh, empty out everyone from the building you also can search visitors to check out so if there's you know a certain amount of or maybe there's like 20 people in the building you can simply search for them and there we go as obviously he's not in the building right now so you can't check him out but if he was checked in uh and i started typing in his name they would show up in this box right here as you can see for this visitor registration, I forgot to mention this, you also can take an image of that person. I do not have a webcam installed on my computer, but if you hit this and you had a webcam, you could simply use this device and you could take a picture of the visitor coming in. Or you could also load in an image of that visitor. So, as you can see up here, we also have some administration and maintenance. This would not be here if this was a visitor check-in, but as you remember, we logged in as an administrative. So you go to maintenance. This. So you can just see this is where you can add in new departments, employees, users, user groups, and visitors as well. So there's only two visitors we've created. This one was created already for the sake of the demo. This is the one we just created now. So that's just a maintenance you can go to. Administration. There we go. This would be, you could administrate this and you could add in new visitors, new employees, as you can see. And you could also search through all of them. So this is a pretty detailed database, it can do a lot and like I said before, it would be perfect for if you're a company or an organization and you want to keep track of all the visitors that you have within your building for security reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you all for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert Database Template Walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other videos and walkthroughs. Contact us for any of your IT needs, whether you need programming done, a database developed, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert Database Template Walkthrough and have a great day.